full carbon fiber R32 Skyline, guys. Not a single section was spared from carbon fiber. That's the cool part about this car. I have legit been looking for this car all day. It just looks absolutely phenomenal, guys. I find it absolutely hilarious. The minute you get off the plane in Las Vegas, you got slot machines, <laughs> casinos spread all over the airport. This has to be like the fifth station that I've come across. Damn, they really want you to lose your money in here. Never gambled before, never played the slots or anything anything like casino related. I might have to uh, pop the cherry today. In case you guys are wondering, I am at SEMA 2021 here in Las Vegas. Always wanted to be here, always wanted to attend this event. Never had the opportunity, never had the right connections and really didn't have the funds to be here. Finally. I'm blessed to be here today and we'll be able to see a lot of amazing cars and companies that produce parts for cars and stuff like that. I'll take you guys along for the ride in case you guys never been or just not able to attend this year. And I'll see if I can get like the best moments on camera and then I guess share it with you guys. And of course the very first car we get to see as I enter is a BMW. We got the new G80 M3 here. It's rocking some Advan racing wheels I think. Not really too familiar with the company, but it kind of cheated us as Advan over there. See you guys around. I know it's a car that was super controversial when it first came out, but I think, is that a carbon fiber trunk? Yes, it is. I think a lot of you guys have kind of grown to like it now. I mean, the front is still a little bit controversial, but the rest of the car looks pretty good. I mean, from the side, it looks super aggressive, guys. And those look like aftermarket taillights as well, almost like the GTS style that they're using for like the F80, F82s yeah that's different so super interesting something has been done to the front of this g80 that definitely does not look like oem g80 m3 front grille something's been done i feel like this bumper is just completely different this place is absolutely massive it's taking place at the convention center here in las vegas i did have a chance to look at the map the blueprint for this area there's no way even though i'm here for two full days there's no way i'll be able to see it all it's so massive it stretches so far down this way and the opposite way as well. That said, I'll make sure to get all the best nuggets for you guys. I probably won't only include BMW content though. I am a fan of non-BMW cars as well, so we'll look at stuff like that as well. I'm sure they got a lot of C8 Corvettes here. Uh, it should be a G80 year and Supras again, so it should be fun and interesting. Every single time I see an MA in person, I get the goosebumps, to be really honest. In pictures and videos, doesn't do much with justice, but in person, it's such a badass car. I do like that paint too. It's probably one of my favorite individual BMW paints. I don't remember the color, but I remember it having like gold flakes. In the sun, it looks outrageous. Let's see if I can find a built N54 in here, which I doubt. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I ain't gonna find no N54 in here. I'll tell you something, guys. What people do with these Supers is unbelievable. Part of the reason I want to get one, even though a lot of you guys don't really like the Supra A90, A91s, it's just for business purposes and for like aftermarket support and customization, it just makes total sense to get one of these. They're so popular, and there's a reason why they've been able to maintain their value. You can do just so much with them, and when you have a wide body, they look so aggressive. Just look at that side view. Thick. Thick guys, thick. Talking about Toyota, we are at the GR section. Oh, what is that over there? GR Super Sport Top. I haven't seen one that you can remove the top off. That's unique and that looks pretty crazy. In case you guys are interested in seeing what the new Toyota 86 looks like, I think they call it the GR86. The price point was probably the most important thing when it came to this car when it first came out with, you know, Scion and um, Subaru and Toyota. It was that it was affordable. You know, you can customize it to the moon. The only problem is a little bit slow, but apparently they've been able to address that with this one right here. And there you go. Very first Tesla build we've seen. I figured there's going to be a lot of those this year. Here's something I didn't notice the first time I glanced at the car. The damn car is LS swap. This is not even a true Tesla with the electric powertrain. It's legit LS swap, guys. Hello Swap Tesla, what's up? Kind of wish they would turn on the car so we can hear what it sounds like. That's obviously not obviously not gonna happen, at least not now. But that would be mind-boggling to hear an LS sound coming from this Tesla shell. I figured I'd see a lot of C8 Corvettes in SEMA this time around since their first official SEMA was supposed to be last year and that was canceled due to COVID and stuff like that. So I'm sure we'll see a lot of these C8s around here this one looks pretty dope here's what the interior looks like big fan of the steering wheel by the way like that square shape never been able to drive one but hopefully i can drive one of these pretty soon mid engine baby this is seriously like a car guys paradise dream you guys ever get a chance to come maybe next year before like the show becomes full electric i would highly recommend it there's just so much to see and so many different builds so many different companies it just makes me feel happy inside such a good event and we got another ca corvette in this orange color man 
You guys fans of the C8 Corvette? I don't know if you guys saw the news of the like new C8 Z06. Like the most powerful naturally aspirated V8. It's insane. These guys are just... They're pushing the limits, man. It's crazy. So one of the most common questions that I normally get is, do you have a favorite non-BMW car? There is one. It's right in front of me. Let me show you. FD RX-7 Mazda. One of my all-time favorites, guys. Before I was a BMW guy, I was a Japanese guy. I used to play Gran Turismo on PlayStation 1 all the time. I used to pick the RX-7. My cousin used to pick the, the Viper. I always told myself I'll own one of these, even though the reliability on these are pretty questionable if you keep the rotary engine. It's such a beautiful car, super timeless, and it just, ah, it's so good. And they built this one to look extremely nice. Take a look at it. <laughs> so clean. <laughs> What's up with that splitter though? <laughs> you chopping off legs with this one. It's so big. Actually, let me give you guys a top view so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, you see that? Yeesh. Full race car inside. Got more air on the back too. The evolution of the Honda Civic Si is... <sighs> Yeah, you notice how I have no words for it. I don't even know what to think. So I used to own a 1999 EK Honda Civic. EX, not SI. I wasn't balling. And this is what they look like now. I don't even know how I feel about it. I mean, I like the orange. It's so different. I mean, technology gets better. Designs have to get more futuristic. I get it. But man, it's tough for a 90s kid to get used to this design for these cars. Full-blown race car right here. Look at that. Civic SI. Woo, fully gutted. I'm trying to race this car right here with my E90. Yeah. What's up, bro? What's up? You want some of this? Line it up. Companies are starting to get creative with their grills. Take a closer look. Spider webs. Legit spider web design. Here's a car that I always loved when it first came out, but it flopped so hard. It just didn't get the recognition online. Um, I feel like it deserved. Sadly, there was not a lot of content on it. People thought it was too expensive. They didn't like the, I guess, the modern design. I'm a huge fan of this car. Of course, the classic is unbeatable but this car looks so amazing and obviously the hybrid technology makes it so fast too i think the only complaint i had about it back when i got to drive one was uh the infotainment display was kind of like from a cheaper version acra which is kind of thrown in there other than that man this car looks super aggressive man chevy has one of the biggest areas here at the show it's massive compared to anything that's out here i mean they're not playing look at the carpet <laughs> white carpet here now that is a familiar car sure you guys watch tj hunt i've only seen it in videos never seen it in person i gotta tell you guys Woo -wee. that is serious such a beautiful car guys in person it's just jaw dropping completely you gotta give it up to the magnaflow booth because uh this c8 looks outrageous i like the color by the way it's like a super light gray Woo -wee. with the carbon fiber accents you guys see that Carbon fiber accents everywhere. I mean, they could have done carbon fiber there, but whatever. I guess that matches the top of the car. This is why supercars are themselves with the CA Corvette. It's an exotic looking car. It's way more affordable than a supercar. And it puts up pretty close supercar performance numbers. I will tell you guys something. I had a lie. I'm kind of disappointed. Not enough BMWs. Maybe I haven't found the holy land of BMWs yet. I better, I better find it. Bingo. G82 M4. Green is very unique, that's for sure. BBS wheels on deck. You got the carbon fiber side skirt as well. Front lip, and I'm guessing you got the rear to match. Now those tips are pretty badass. Carbon fiber sleeve. You got Ray's Concept in Racing. C8 Supra. You gotta stay current. Have the Tesla on deck, baby. Got another Supra on the other side. And what do we got? A GTR on the other side. Ooh, I like that GTR though. I really do like Aggressive that. Aggressive AF. My God, that carbon fiber lip is insane. That looks good. Nice touch, bro. Here's the backside. Titanium exhaust tips. That's right. Leave it up to Ford to have probably the biggest display out here. I'll tell you something, though. If I ever get a pickup truck, it's definitely going to be a Raptor. F-150 Platinum Lightning. All electric. It will kick everybody's ass. Whoa, not something I expected from a Ford Mustang. Bagged out, white wheels, white tail lights. 2.3 liter though, so this is the EcoBoost version. This is interesting, white interior too. I wonder what the Ford guys feel about this. Definitely pops and it's getting a lot of attention. Look at everybody's just stopping to look at it. I see some more FD RX-7s. Got one here in black, which seems like it's been kept for the most part stock which is honestly my favorite look of the car. And we have a crazy looking one here. Look at the side. Look at the wing though. Oh my God. Let me give you guys a perspective. Massive, but you know what? It looks fine on this car. 
Looks like it belongs there. Here's another little secret of mine that you guys might find disgusting. One of my other favorite non-BMW cars is actually the AMG GTR, GTS. Not the GT, but the GTS with the GTR, especially the GTR in that green color. Personal favorite non-BMW car as well. I know, shocker, Mercedes. BMW i8. I know it's not very popular amongst you guys. It's there though. Used to be a fan, not a fan anymore. They kind of hooked it up, riced it up, whatever you want to call it. Now look at that, we got a dyno jet here. My A90 actually made 700 horsepower on one of their dynos. All out with the C8 right here. My God. So it's like a car like straight from like the Fast and the Furious for real. Inside lighting, inside of there, inside of the wheels, the gills. It sits beautiful. Such a beautiful car, my God. That wide body just sets it off. I'm telling you guys, C8, they missed their year last year. They're taking over this here, and this kit looks pretty badass as well. Very similar to the other ones, to be honest. They might just be rocking the same kit. Guys, the CA Corvette looks like a straight-up supercar. The, uh, the bargain that you're getting when you purchase a car like this and you set it up properly, it looks like a legit supercar, like no lie. Accurator. Check out the CA Corvette, guys. Frozen. Now I'm just playing. Looks like I got a map black wrap or it's painted not entirely sure unless i open that door anyways looks super sick massive wheels tucked all the way through let's take a look at the front and here's what the front looks like it's completely touching the floor of course you know i had to stop at csf i do sell their products on my website vehiclevirus.com they don't only offer bmw cool and stuff i mean they got some big boy stuff here guys for the porsche mclaren 720s 765 lt you have the audi rs6 that wagon that is so beautiful so they got some exclusive stuff if you go back here got some truck stuff f90 charge coolers which i believe work for the m5 and the m8 this has to be one of the hottest things that they have guys this is for the b58 in particular the supra a90 a91 they got the entire uh, cooling package here intake manifold heat exchanger everything that you need this is actually good for the uh, gen 2 b58 g20 m340i as well Not a lot of people know that absolutely beautiful you can get in whatever color you want these are badass guys. I'll tell you something guys, if I get a G20 or I get a Supra, it's probably one of the first modifications I'll get for the car. Hands down. You guys know I had to make a stop here at AST and Molton. I do run their suspension on my BMWs. This is their G80 SEMA build. This looks pretty damn aggressive up front. You got a Volsteiner carbon fiber lip and it looks like they wrapped a portion of the front bumper which kind of flows in with the Kinney grills. It's sitting on Ray wheels, pretty exclusive wheels from what I was told carbon fiber side skirts with this wing here that matches what looks like a carbon fiber diffuser it's like a two-piece system so it's a it's like a portion right here and then you got the back portion that wraps around the titanium exhaust you guys can make fun of me all you want i don't know how to say it correctly acro povich acro povich exhaust anyways it looks like they have their own like proprietary rear diffuser that perfectly fits their titanium exhaust got a really nice carbon fiber trunk spoiler and of course we're gonna add it to the top color match it so it can match the olive man green on the rest of the car i don't know probably not for everybody but I mean, it looks pretty cool what do you guys think all right so we've made it outside i guess this is where things start to get a little bit spicier it's not so corporate it's more so personal builds and i guess a lot of these cars got invited to show off their car here so it should be a little bit more unique yes yeah, so talk about unique guys holy sheesh look how far out that front splitter sticks out this is an insane looking car guys i'm not entirely sure if i'm going to be able to upload this onto youtube they do have music playing in the background and it can easily get copyrighted. There we go. Got some E92 life, baby. E92 M3. What's up? Yo, look at that lip, though. Oh my. Oh my God. Rush to not these wheels probably cost more than the E93 35 life. Look at that. Super aggressive, guys. Super aggressive. Not something you see every day. 12.4 liter. Bro, I have no idea what this is. Maybe there's a sign that says what it is. A 2001 Corvette has been completely transformed into one of a kind super, super, super car. There you go. Hey, talk about putting down power. This is how you put down power right here. <laughs> you just dig into the pavement. Bro, these people don't play, man, when it comes to car builds. I spy a G80 M3 competition. Uh big fan of the canards the auto zone special up top so i got a g82 m4 i think i've seen this one on instagram it might be marshmallows bbs street fighter la aero kit interesting that the laser lights the little blue accents and the lights match the color of the car got a roll cage already boy ain't wasting no time got another m8 over here in his mint color i'll tell you something when you got this mint color the black and the carbon fiber really stands out serious question though where are the goddamn e90s at or the f10s or the e46s or the E30s. I might have to create something special for next year. I might just have to. Yeah. 
There you go, nothing like a bunch of Mustangs drifting. Doesn't look like we're getting any Mustang memes today, boys. No Mustang memes today, boys. I tried. Any E60 fans? With an M5 here. Wide body. It's a very unique color, that's for sure. Check out the roll cage. Still kept the back seats. And the custom system that's going on here. Wood grain on the bottom, JL audio. We got the lift gang on this side. And take a look at this collection right here. Ooh -wee. Look at this, guys. My God. Notice how the C8 fits perfectly with the Lamborghinis. I'm telling you guys, budget supercar. This has to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. What do you think the build price on this one is? <laughs> ah, bro. What size are these wheels? Oh my God. This is insane. Longhorn, baby. I mean, they got an entire section dedicated to these lifted trucks. E92 M3? That's right, where the non-M's at though? Apex wheels? Not surprised. an EK Civic made it to the show. Looks good though. Looks like I've made it to the wheels section of SEMA. Look at that, we got another C8 with a wide body that I have not seen yet. I swear to God, these cars don't be me driving, man. They're garage queens. They either stay in the garage or they go to car shows and that's it. There's no way anybody drives this. The mother effing DeLorean is here. <laughs> and it's modified the hell up. Completely different from what I remember seeing on Back to the Future. That's pretty sick. I've legit been looking for this car all day. I've seen it on Instagram. It's been shared everywhere. It's an E31 850i, I believe. It's uh, the V12 variation. This is uh, apparently the world's first pandem wide body kit for this car. And it looks so outrageous that I now want to buy one of these just so I can wide body. It just looks absolutely phenomenal, guys. The inside looks kind of stock-ish. I mean, kind of. It's a little bit, a little bit modern. But just look at it. These wheels are absolutely amazing too. Our Triple R tires. My God, this is by far one of my favorite builds here at SEMA for sure. If not my favorite build, just because of how it looks. They did such a good job with this car. I wish they would pop the hood so we can see what it looks like under there. Absolutely insane. M2 though. Mm. Never actually seen this wide body on the m2 it's done so beautifully too looks pretty damn sick that front end is crazy too look at that front end guys i'm a second day at sema guys I'm trying to see uh if i can catch everything that i pretty much missed yesterday let's do it you guys see this m2 right here I've heard stories about this M2 and I finally get to see it in person. Massive wing because, I mean, you just gotta have to do that. We got a side exit exhaust system. Obviously, there's no tips back here. All right, let's keep it moving. Inside, bare minimum. Even the dashboard was removed and fitted with something that was fabricated, custom made, sparkle racing seats, full roll cage. Wait for this one though. <laughs> definitely not an N55 and definitely not an S65. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a Hellcat motor. Literally, the Hellcat M2, guys. Isn't this insane? On such a small and nimble body. And everything else has the elements of an M2, right? M2s look gorgeous. But now you get a Hellcat engine inside of it. How does that even work? Oh my God. Here's a breakdown of the build, guys. Feel free to pause the video if you guys want to see it. Here's everything that it has. I get it, BMW purists are not gonna feel very good about this. They'll feel triggered and not like the car. But you gotta give it, you gotta give it its props. It's unique, it's different. German meets American. 
What's up? E30, finally. The very first E30 I've seen at CM. It looks like it's rocking that wide body kit that I'm a huge fan of, that live to offend wide body kit. Oh my god. In my opinion, I like this body kit a lot more than the than the pandem one. This looks absolutely insane. Let's see what it's rocking. Ooh, turbocharged S52. That's the way to go. And then we got some custom carbon fiber weave parts, it looks like. Taking a look at the inside. Really hard to see in here, guys. The video's probably gonna look super mushy because this lens is not good for low light. But uh see now these are goals right here. Lots of motivation to build my E30 to look good. As you know, as much as this, probably not. This is a rather expensive build that I probably wouldn't be able to probably wouldn't be able to justify it but my god this is definitely something to like boost your morale and give you the motivation to continue an e30 build my god classic boy tic tac the breast stink so these two cars here pretty much summarize the whole SEMA event c8 corvettes and supers those have to be like the hottest car at SEMA this year there's so many builds and so many unique just takes to each of them does this look like a car that starts at sixty thousand dollars Definitely not. Look at the interior, guys. Just look at that stance. Just look at it. And the Supra, I mean, Supra's been in the market long enough to have an advantage as far as aftermarket components. Okay, here we go. Carbon fiber wheels. That's legit a carbon fiber lip around those wheels. This just makes me want to buy another car. Should I get a Supra? Or G20 M340i? Something with a B58 engine? Maybe get a C8 Corvette? <laughs> you guys absolutely hate me since I only do really BMW content. I don't know. I'm in that like car buying mentality right now and my wallet's itching. Once you see all these builds in person and you see like how unique they are, it just makes you want to go back home and spend money on your own car and try to get it as close as possible to what you're seeing. Obviously not very realistic, but that's just the feeling I'm having. I just want to spend all my money right now and build something great and have it displayed here at SEMA. Look at that, we got another E30. Pandem, wide body this time around. I think what's truly unique about this car is the wheels. Look at the style of them. Rotiform. I mean, they're aggressive AF. Look at this Mercedes GT, guys. I mean, this has to be the biggest wing in the show. I know the video won't really put it into perspective, but let's see. I know it's very big, that's for sure. Very wide, super aggressive, wide body, the rest of the car. I mean, aero is a big thing here. Got some functional vents here on the fender. Canards. Huge splitter. I mean, BMW guy or not, you gotta respect this is uh this is pretty clean. That light kind of camel green, it's absolutely dope with the bronze wheels. I wonder if that's Stradman's Gladiator, right? I mean, he's really like the only guy that uses this purple on his builds. It might actually be his, right? He normally does purple with white wheels. We McLaren, Lamborghini, and then we have a C8, which of course seems like it fits right in. We got an M8 here. That's a very distinct color. There's one thing I don't like and I'll show you guys here right now. That looks like one of the, the sensors. I don't know, I'm not sure if that's for like automatic stop, emergency stop braking or whatever, but it looks disgusting. Let's just be real. Doesn't look too good. Here's a very unique BMW M4. Wide body, of course, cause that's the trend here. And then we have this very, I guess, different vinyl wrap with this design. It looks like it's been chalked on the body panel. Uh, interior looks pretty dope. Oh yeah. Very nice. Of course, you gotta have a massive wing. I mean, that's part of the theme here at SEMA. It's almost like it's a prerequisite to have a car here. <laughs> Full carbon fiber R32 Skyline, guys. I don't even know how big that exhaust tip is, but it looks like five inches wide. I mean, carbon fiber everywhere, guys. Unreal. This ain't no carbon fiber overlay, neither. This is a real deal right here. Let me get you guys a closer look so you guys can see the weave pattern. Carbon everywhere. There you go. Massive Garrett Turbo. Work of art, guys. It's truly what it is. Look at the front bumper. <coughs> Everything. Everything carbon fiber. This has to be one of the hottest SEMA builds, that's for sure. Look at the interior real quick. Now that I have an opportunity to show you guys since some of the people left, look at the back seats. Carbon fiber. Look at the floorboards. Carbon fiber. 
Carbon Fiber here. I mean, Carbon Fiber back, seat delete as well. Uh, see, it's a little bit harder to show you guys. Top three for me at SEMA for sure. Top three. This one, the E31. And I don't know, the third place is a little bit of a tough one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But this definitely has to be one of the top three builds here at SEMA. According to me, of course, it's probably not the most expensive one, but definitely one of the most unique ones. Man, that color on the ARC-7 is so sick. It's like this neon color. It really does pop. That R32 is just breathtaking. Just goes to show you that when it comes to potential on these cars and these builds, it's limitless. <laughs> you can go as far as you want to take it and as far as your wallet can take you, of course. But man, that was a sick build. All right, so here's the scoop, guys. I think I've seen everything that I want to see at SEMA. I did see some other car builds and other companies off camera I didn't get to film everything but there's one thing that I want you guys to see and something that I'm super interested in seeing it and that's the Hoonigan event which is at three o'clock it's one hour from now so I'm gonna go sit down and relax and I'll catch you when the show starts yeah so we made it to the Hoonigan section it's about 20 minutes out into the show starts and it's so packed I have no idea how I'm gonna get a good viewing angle for you guys all right so this is probably gonna be the best viewing angle I can get for you guys man it is our last show and you know what that means we're breaking everything today there's gonna be fire there's gonna be carnage there's gonna be destruction there's gonna be cars pressed up against that wall doing things that they shouldn't do there might be flying shrapnel just so all of y'all aware if you are up against this fence there is a possibility you get hit with some things. gonna say it i'm not gonna say it. oh yeah she's leaking real good guys oh he's leaking <laughs> everybody give it up right, welcome back guys let's make give some noise <laughs> laying on the ground? I broke an axle for sure. No, I didn't go one left. <laughs> 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 
Oh, did you just break the other one? Did you just break both axles? <laughs> That was my experience at SEMA 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe with the notification bell on. That way you're notified the next time I upload. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.